Hello, welcome to Warrior Miniatures. I'm Jim, and tonight we're going to be painting the Sisters of Demolition from the Mercenaries faction from the game Dust 1947. We'll primarily be using Army Painter Speed Paints or War Paints. Let's get started. This miniature was primed with an airbrush using Vallejo's matte black followed by zenithal sprays of gray and white. Spot highlights were then added using golden high flow acrylics titanium white. I begin with laying down speed paints, painting the pants, boots, scabbard, backpacks, and gloves with pallid bone. The gun's hair, belt, knife handles, and goggles are also painted with speed paints, but those won't be shown in this video. The colors I use can be found in a chart at the end. Without waiting for the pallid bone to fully dry, I apply sand golem as a shade in the deepest folds and recesses of the clothing. I paint all of the shirts with brunette gray. Since this is a game unit that consists of five miniatures, I'm painting them in assembly line fashion. As I finish a shirt on one miniature, I paint the shirt on the next. Doing this helps save time and paint, and also allows the paint to partially dry by the time you change colors and return to the front of the queue. The base coat for the hair of this particular miniature is done with Slaughter Red. The rest of the unit's hair and weapons are also painted with speed paints before I take the miniatures outside and varnish them with Tester's dull coat to prevent any reactivation later. I decided to paint each model a different skin tone and chose this one to show in the video as I made far too large a jump between colors for my highlights and I had to fix this. The others followed similar steps but did not have this issue. The base coat of scar tissue is applied over four to five thin coats to build up a smooth and even base. I thin down some wash and carefully apply it to the bottom areas and crevices. I do this several times to slowly build up shadow. Any excess can be wicked away with a clean brush. The base skin color is then applied again as a highlight over most of the surface area that light would directly reach. The next highlight is where I made my first major mistake. I should have either thinned the centaur skin paint to a glaze and slowly built it up, or I should have mixed it with scar tissue to lessen the starkness between the two. To fix this issue, I thinned down my next highlight color to a very diluted glaze and then hit all areas of the flesh with several light coats allowing time to dry in between to ensure I didn't add too much glaze. After the flesh, I move on to the clothing and apply strong tone all over, wicking away excess pools. As the wash dries, I return to the hair on each miniature. This one received increasingly smaller highlights of pure red, Mars red, and lava orange respectively. The lava orange is only done as small slits around the crown. With the hair finished, I move back to the clothing. I highlight all of the pants, boots, and gloves with a glaze of corpse pale. This is done in mostly stippling and hatching motions. Originally, I intended to use banshee brown for this first glaze, but corpse pale seemed a better start.
The final edge highlight for the clothing is also done with corpse pail, but with only enough water added to keep the paint flowing. This I applied sparingly and in as thin lines as I could manage. Then I finished the remaining details such as the knife handles, eyes, the base, and then I call it a night. This is the final result. For lessons learned, I still need to pay better attention to the value jumps between highlights. I also need a lot more practice painting guns as well as painting in general. However, I think that I may have an easier time with the Warhammer models once I crack into those, as the molding seems to be a better quality than the dust miniatures. Another note for the unit leader's skin, I had to apply anti-shine matte varnish over the base coat of Jasper skin, as it has a glossy sheen. That's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you learned something or inspired to check out this game on your own. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you like the content of this video and would like to see more, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm Jim with Workable Miniatures. I'm truly grateful for your time, and I bid you a fond farewell. Till the next video.